Hello and welcome to the XGN channel. This is a bit of an experiment, but I'm going to try to learn Phasmophobia properly. Uh, I have been playing it uh, a couple of years, I think, but not really properly. I need not really learning and just kind of know the basics. So this is going to be my a bit of a like a vlog about me being ghost ghost hunt, being a ghost hunter. So let's just get into it. Um, let's go to the game screen. There we go. And first, we're gonna do the training. There we go. Okay, read the word. Interact mouse one, use mouse two, grab is E, place is F, drop is G, cycle Q. I never use that, but uh, okay. Usually, cycle with my mouse uh, what it's called mouse spinny thing <laughs> middle mouse button uh, mouse wheel uh, maybe it's the name it's special t i'm not sure what that means journal is j crouch is c okay welcome here at ghost hunting distribute distribution we like to welcome you to our training facility to start grab a flashlight you can toggle the flashlight with use if you if equipped or special if it's in your inventory okay so if i'm not holding it and i'm pressing t i light it oh you can cycle through your items to change which one with Q or with middle mouse wheel. You can carry three items at once. When you're ready, grab the key to the right, then interact with the keypad to the left of the doors and open the truck and move to the next section. All right, grab. Okay, ghost room. Your first goal when entering a haunted location is to find the ghost favorite room. This is the room where the ghost will spend the majority of its time. To find the ghost room, look out for open doors, items that have been thrown, or sounds coming from that area of the, lo of the location. When playing high difficulty, the ghost can change their favorite room when wandering. To open a door, interact with it and move forward. This is room one. Room two. Really? I can do the door oh. in the next section. Okay. Sanity. Each investigator has their own sanity level represented in the truck by a percentage on a screen when playing in a team you will also have an average sanity level okay oh so that's okay uh, several things can lower your sanity standing in the dark ghost events and abilities you can restore your sanity level by using sanity medication try drinking one using a bottle below it will take a few seconds to replenish try it out grab it grab one below then use it you should see your sanity increase on the screen to the left sanity medicine will have different amounts of restoration depending on the difficulty you are playing okay so grab it toggle use So Good job. Half here sounds okay. Look at this. This is a bit dark in here. Lighting to keep your sanity stable, you should stand in lit rooms or areas as much as possible. You can turn lights on using their switch. Aim at the switch, then interact with it. So the, okay. 
Each location has a maximum amount of lights that can be turned on at once. If you exceed this number, the fuse box will trip and turn off every light. You can turn the fuse box back on by interacting with its switch. Try tripping the fuse box by playing with the lights to the right. Then turn the fuse box, fuse box back on. <laughs> okay, off, on. Okay, I'll turn the fuse box. Okay, so they might look different. Well done. Okay, so they tripped. Okay. Whoa. Electromagnetic fields, EMF. In a normal contract, you will only need to find up to three evidence types but for this training we'll be showing you all seven okay emf spots are left behind on almost everything that a ghost interacts with these hot hot spots last around 20 seconds and can be read with an emf reader grab your emf reader below turn it on with use, then move it towards object that a ghost has recently interacted with. Some ghost types will leave stronger EMF hotspots. If your EMF reader is displaying a strength of 5 or higher, this is in evidence. Open your journal by pressing the journal button. Click the evidence tab at the top of the page, then mark EMF 5 as checked. Okay. But I don't know what it's... I have not really seen it use something yet. Thrown this. Okay. Nice work. Okay, so now I have five. Okay. So journal evidence EMF. Mm -hmm. Can I put this down then? Okay. Ultraviolet UV. Also known as the <laughs> The gist light in some uh, some circles. <laughs> but that's a dirty mind. So some ghost times we leave behind UV handprints on doors, windows, and even footprints on the floor if they walk into some well placed salt. To find these, uh, listen out for paranormal interaction. On those objects, then grab your UV light, activate it with use, then shine it around to see what prints have been left. If you find UV handprints or footprints, make sure to note them down on your evidence page in your journal. Lastly, if you shine UV light onto a print for long enough, it will become charged, allowing you to swap to camera to snap a quick photo for some extra cash. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, can I go back or do I do use? You have been moving this. Okay, maybe, maybe I have to go. Oh! Okay, so he walked in here with his big feet. Okay. Well done. Okay, so J Ultraviolet.
Okay, freezing temperatures. Ghosts are known for making the area around them colder, but some ghost, ghost types would push these temperatures below freezing. When navigating around a location, you may notice your breath being frozen in front of you, visualized by cold cloud of air. If you find this, it may be worth checking the temperature of the room accurately. To do so, grab the thermometer and walk into each room, then check the temperatures as they adjust. You're looking for anything below freezing. So, 0 Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. If you find freezing temperatures, mark it in your journal. Okay. So... I'm guessing... <laughs> Don't let you, like, Santi, like... Oh, it's... It's 10. It's 10 degrees Celsius. I'm running out of the place. No. That, that's not it. Are you using your thermometer to see if that's deep in the... I'm, I'm not using anything. I didn't no, grab a I, thermometer. I have a thermometer. Thir 13! Oh! Okay, okay, so I this might be the room then. So, uh, this is the room? Alright. Alright. <laughs> it's just so funny. I've got, I've got the video camera. I'm not sure if that's right, low enough, but... Uh, this is where I leave you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but maybe we uh, should go back to them in the same room. I'm not sure if this is the room. Well, it said 13. Now 14, 12! Well, we can... Oh my god, 12! <laughs> I'm not joking! I'm not joking, guys! <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 I don't know. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, not sure if it has to go under... Under 10 well, degrees, 40, This sure. is 14, 15, this is warm, no, this is warm. Okay, okay. Uh, no, 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 oh, 13, 13! Uh, 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 can I just go back to the trailer? I'm okay, getting okay. sweaty. 12, 9! Oh my god, a ghost is here! A ghost is here, 9! Oh 9 my is god. better, uh, this is probably up, out here. Or is it the yes, basement? Yes, why is better? I have no <laughs> okay, clue what's so... going on. It's pretty high. Oh, whoops. Okay. I can't find any. Do I have to go back? Do I have to wait? Oh, it goes down. Okay. Yeah, this is thing I have not been doing. I have not been waiting. Okay. Okay. So, J... I don't know if... It's Jim. No, Jin. <laughs> it's Jim. <laughs> Okay, because so, you know, all gins are called Jim for now on. Uh, oh. So, drop. Okay. D O T S projector dots. Dots projectors let us see things that normal light does not. Sometimes using the light will reveal a small flicker into the paranormal world. Several ghost types can be revealed with dots. With dots projector, all you need is to find them. Grab a projector, turn it on use, and aim the light where you think a ghost may be. If you see a ghostly silhouette appear, you found some evidence. Try to find ghostly apparition in the room to the left. You can then mark it in your journal. But we already know it's Jim. Jim, where are you? What? You're kidding me. Good job. So now a snow. 
when a ghost reveals itself in its dots form, it will walk towards the closest player if they're inside the same room. Okay. You can use this to get those particularly shy ghosts to come within range of your dots. Infrared. Infrared. Infrared lights. No, infrared. <laughs> infrared. <laughs> infrared lights. Okay, but what? So I just shine it to the nearest, to another player. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't like that. Ghost orbs. Often when filming paranormal evidence with a video camera, investigators have found explainable flecks of light, unexplainable <laughs> flecks of light that slowly drift across, across their footage. These have been named ghost orbs. To find them, grab a video camera and turn on night vision with use. During contract you can place the video camera down and view the camera feed from the safety of the truck usually Xanth does that search around the ghost room and look for any small flecks of lights moving around if you find one mark it on your journal Is that a ghost orb? Yes. I'm seeing them. Ghost orb. I don't know. I have to move around for it to get to the next. Nice work. Okay, good. Oops. Ghostwriting. Some paranormal entities will interact with more objects than other. In several reported cases, ghosts have been known to write vague messages in books, if left long enough. To get ghostwriting evidence, grab a ghostwriting book and place it down somewhere near the ghost. After some time, the ghost will either throw the book or writing it. Okay. For the letter, note that evidence down in your journal. Okay. Oh. Well done. Did you wrote? Nothing. Okay, spirit box. EVP recorders or spirit boxes are radio devices designed to scan through different frequencies, possibly revealing some paranormal audio amongst the static. To use a spirit box, grab one below and turn it on with use. Make sure that all room lights in that area are turned off. Then you can ask the ghost questions in hope of a response. Try asking, where are you? If you get a response, the indicator will flash white and you should hear a voice that's unique amongst the red radio frequencies. If it flashes red, your question was heard, but you didn't get a reply. Okay, so that's good to know. Enter the next area, find the ghost room and try it out. Okay. She sings moves. Hasn't moved anything. It's 
passé. Oh, okay. So where is... How can I turn off the light? Can you see the light button somewhere? Oh. Okay. Where are you? I don't know what he said. During contracts, foes can initiate an attack on you and your fellow investigators. These attacks will have a chance to occur once your sanity has reached an average threshold of 50%. Some ghost types might attack earlier or later than this. Depending on the difficulty you are playing on, you may have a setup timer. This is normally displayed on a large LED clock in the truck, like the one to the right. This will stop your sanity going below 50% as well as prevent hunts. Okay, so during that time... When a hunt starts... The exit door will lock and the ghost will start searching for you. Turn off your equipment, hide in a, in a locker or crouch behind something tall and wait until it's over. Okay. This is where I always draw. I just go into a corner. That doesn't work. Okay. Enter the truck and use the keypad to exit. Right. 